Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to do print head alignment on an Epson XP900. This is pretty simple, it can be done from the printer itself, using nothing but the directional arrows, OK, and the start button here. So if we get closer to the screen, we can use the right arrow to get ourselves along to maintenance. And then press OK. Now print head alignments, the third option down. So we press down twice, and then OK. Now which alignment option you'll choose will depend upon the nature of the problem you're having. If you've got lines running down your page, go for the vertical alignment. If you can notice kind of gaps in your printing running horizontally and cleans haven't sorted it out, or if you notice lines that look uh, more defined than they should do, I'd also recommend going for horizontal, because that's likely the cause. But as I say, I'd recommend running the cleaning cycle if you're getting the horizontal lines first of all, simply because of the way the printer works, moving in left and right as it feeds the paper through. That could just be a genuine print quality issue. I'm gonna move straight into vertical alignment, but if you wanted to check out horizontal, just have a look in the description down below. And there's a timestamp you can click on to jump about. So we're gonna go into vertical alignment and press start to go. Now this will take your printer just a minute. Now, with the alignment pages printed, we're going to take a quick look at them. And what you're looking at is you go along in rows, so for row number one, it's these seven squares. And we're looking for the square that has the least amount of vertical lines in it. Which to me, looks like number five. So on the screen, we use the up and down arrows, select five, press OK. Number two, got five again. And we just carry on in this way, selecting the relevant square until you've gone over both pages. And then the alignment is complete and you'll be brought back to this page. If, however, you're wanting to do the horizontal alignment, just go in, select either color and black and white. What you choose doesn't really matter. But I know all my colours are fine, so I've chosen colour. And the page itself is pretty similar to the vertical alignment, but this time it's running horizontally. And what we're looking for here is again a lack of lines. If you look at line one, you can see it's darker in the centre where the two blue boxes have overlapped. And we're looking for the one that has the least overlap, but doesn't have gaps like we can see on a six and seven. So the one I'm the most happy with here is three. So on the screen, use the up and down arrows to select the option that's the best for you. Mine is three. So press down, then OK. And you're done. It's a lot shorter process than the other one, but just as simple. Now, I hope you found what you're looking for here. If you have done, let us know with a like. If there's anything else you'd like to know, let us know down in the comments. Otherwise, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.